What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about the women's Royal Rumble predictions. I've already done this video and they're making me mad that I have to do it again. My prediction to win the Royal Rumble was Paige. But Paige got hurt and now she's not competing in the Royal Rumble so I have to make a new video. Now with Paige getting hurt, I'm not sure who is going to win now. Because I was pretty sure a Raw Superstar was going to win. But now I'm not even sure who's going to win. Only person I don't want to win, truly, and I'm sorry for you fans of her, is Asuka. Because I think that would be a waste of a first Women's Royal Rumble if you make it so predictable. Everybody already is predicting Asuka is going to win because she's undefeated. And what people are not understanding, they're saying if she loses the Royal Rumble, she loses her streak. No, she hasn't been pinned or submitted. So if she gets eliminated, she'll be fine. So that's why Asuka should, shouldn't win because it's not going to affect anything. So... Asuka, I don't want you to win. I'm sorry. But, but anyway, let's get into the video. I'm going to talk about my predictions, who I think is going to return. I don't know if any debuts technically is going to come in a Women's Royal Rumble because I know they have NXT like people, but I mean, I don't think any of the NXT women are ready to come up just now. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a reason. Maybe Ember Moon. Yeah, I'll give it to Ember Moon. Ember Moon can probably make a surprise in this Royal Rumble. And I heard that Candice LeRae, Johnny Gargano's wife, she really recently just got signed with WWE. So maybe she can come too, I don't know. But as returns-wise, I say Chish Stratus, Kaharma, Karma, I say Kar is it Kaharma? Or Kar I don't know. Kaharma, Lita, most definitely, and Kelly Kelly. Because Kelly Kelly, last year sometime, like she was around WWE. I'm not sure if they said she was going to return, but... Kelly Kelly was in the WWE, so I'm pretty sure they'll make Kelly Kelly return. I can see Michelle McCool coming, but Undertaker's going to return at Raw 25, so I don't know how that's... I don't know. Michelle McCool can come. Those are my predictions who's going to return. No, I can see the Bella Twins returning, both Nikki and Brie, because I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to do when they return to Raw 25 episode in a couple days on Raw. I'm going to do a reaction to that, by the way, too, so stay tuned for that if you want to see reactions to Raw 25, but as for current superstars on the roster, I'm not sure who's going to win. The only person I can see winning out of everybody is Nia Jax because she's the biggest. It's time for her to get an opportunity, but that's not my number one person to win. I think the women's Royal Rumble winner now that Paige is gone, because I'm, I'm pretty sure they was going to make Paige win because she's going to return, have her return like you know push so after all that been happening to her with the neck injury and all her personal business being out in the world so i'm pretty sure that was going to be her time for a push but now that she's hurt i'm not sure who's going to win because there's too many peep options to pick from so possible winning the royal rumble is nia Jax, but i'm not sure that's going to happen too because they're probably going to just team up and throw her out but who i have to say is my number one pick is Becky Lynch. Why? Because I just, I don't know. I just feel it. SmackDown doesn't have really any women who who is just going to like one up beat Charlotte for a championship. And Asuka and Alexa Bliss, they can have their championship run on their own time or something like that. But if Asuka wins the Royal Rumble, there's no point in, like, there was no point in making the match anyway. They could have just made a number one contenders match if that was the case. But Becky Lynch, I think she can win because she hasn't really been doing it. She was the first SmackDown Women's Champion. She hasn't re really been doing anything. She recently just came back from making a movie with The Miz and the Marine 6, the new Marine movie they're going to come out with. So I think she is like the woman to beat Charlotte like by herself. And they can put on a great match at WrestleMania if Becky Lynch were to win. So that's who I'm going to go with. But for everybody else... Women in the match, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Naomi, all those people, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose. Pretty sure Absolution is going to team up the whole match. Bailey and Sasha might team up, but maybe Sasha Banks is going to throw out Bailey because that's going to ruin their friendship. That can be a great story to write. So, those are all the plans that they can go through with this Royal Rumble match. Like I said, for Chis Stratus and all the other divas to return, they can put on some good pops. Have some good angles in the match. Of course, they're not going to win because he, because they just there to make the match entertaining. 
for all the fans. As for an Oscar situation, now they like Nia Jax is like attacking her and stuff. They could just make like she attacked her before the match and like she doesn't compete because that can just like break the obvious winner who's gonna win. That can change many people's minds. Like it just wouldn't make sense for her to win the Royal Rumble. Like it's too predictable because that's everybody's number one pick. And that would be a waste of a first women's Royal Rumble. See, because with the first money in the bank, women's money in the bank, they had everybody thinking, I forgot who all competed in that match, but they had everybody thinking like one person was going to win. I think did Charlotte, I think Charlotte did compete in that match. I'm not sure. I think she did. Let me know if I'm wrong, but they had everybody thinking probably Charlotte was going to win. But me, I said the underdog is going to win, Carmella, even though James Ellsworth technically won the first women's Royal rumble but we won't speak on it but i said carmelo was gonna win so they should just like make it unpredictable so they should have something happen to oscar where she can't like compete in the Royal rumble or something because i don't think they're gonna take the angle with her getting eliminated because people are gonna be upset and i don't know so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section who you think is gonna win who else could possibly return i those are all my returns who i th think is gonna possibly return and who do you think is going to win besides Asuka, Becky Lynch, or Nia Jax? Probably any other. But those are the top three that are probably going to win. So let me know. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you guys on my next one.